you know, as that season progressed, I was really dumbfounded when I watched this team practice. They would practice in the heat of the day. We thought we were gonna die. We had guys throwing up. They wouldn't have any water breaks. He didn't believe in water. Most days in Miami, it's 85 or 90. And I was often just shaking my head saying, when are we gonna have a fatality? They would take bags of ice and they would hide them in the bushes. And if a guy looked like he was about ready to pass out, you'd say, hey, I've got to go to the bathroom. You go over to act like you're going to the bathroom in the bushes, and you rip open a bag of ice, and you just start shoving ice in your mouth. We had a guy named Milton Redwine, one of the top, top tackles out of Pittsburgh. This big 6'6 uh, tackle, 330-some pounds, he actually got naked on the field. I mean, pulled all his clothes off. I mean, just got butt naked on the field. So we're looking like, man, Redwine is going crazy. That night, Milton disappeared. Even his roommates didn't know where Milton was. When Howard Stellenberger caught up with Milton Redwine, he was in Tallahassee on a Greyhound bus. He took off. He's like, y'all can have this. This coach is crazy, and this program is crazy. They're not going to kill me. He was going to put a product on the field that was tougher than anybody else's and in better condition than anybody else's. There's no way that you're going to survive this and not win the games. He's going to handle what he can control, and he can control our conditioning, and he used the sun, he used the humidity, and he used the time of day. We've always said that playing a one o'clock game is a seven point advantage. If you are conditioned and you are in great shape in Miami, you will win your fourth quarter.